Greetings, and welcome to Magic with Tamala Farron. Tonight, we're going to work on how to bless and charge your pendulum. Now, with the first video, the introduction, it was how to pick one out and how to utilize it. With the second and third videos, it was how to systematically cleanse it and take care of it. So this would be, I guess, the fourth. And this one is simply the blessing and charging of it. Now to bless after you've cleansed it is really, really simple. It doesn't take 20 lines memorized. It's really simple. You use your simple, wonderful fingers and you state as you do a pentagram over it in the name of the gentle goddess and woodland father. I do so bless this tool to extend my energy and connect with all the magic within and with around me. May it be positive, may it be blessed with love, peace, and healing. Please allow this wonderful connection to continue in all the work that I do as I will it Samoda be. That simple. Then you take your pendulum. How do you charge it? That's really easy. You take it and you bless it and then you lay it upon your altar during a full moon. You can charge it by putting it outside under the full moon or on your altar, or you can even, if you decide to work some magic, place it near it. If you are lighting candles to send healing energy and love to all those around you, try it. It really does help. And it's not that big a deal. It's a tool. Utilizing it means you are actually working with it, allowing it to extend your abilities and create and continue as you work along with it. It's an extreme amount of connection that is with you and your tools. You are allowing it to amplify your energy, to focus. When it's connected as in definition or with the ability to connect and communicate with the dead. It literally is a balance between your energy and the person you're doing a reading for, or your energy and the person you are communicating with on the other side. It's real easy. But it has to be blessed, it has to be cleansed, it has to be charged. All these steps are for reasons. Most of them are to protect you. Most of them are there to protect those around you. If you have a family or you are living with a bunch of roommates or you have a bunch of friends over all the time, It's to protect you and all the people around you. It doesn't take much, but it's really good when you do it. 
and to emphasize how important this is, you don't want something negative coming at you and you don't want something harming someone else around you. And if these basic steps help, do it. Because systematically, you're here to help others, correct? You're here. This is your path to help others. So these simple tools of the trade deserve respect. They can work amazing wonders. At the same time, being a witch means that you have to have the ability to know the responsibility of your actions. This will help you. The balance, helping so many around you. This needs to be taken care of and respected just like you do. Because if you're sick, you need to heal before you can properly work magic. If you are emotionally distraught, you need to calm, center, and ground so that you can focus and do things in a proper perspective. It is so simplistic. Basics. It boils down to basics. Because these gifts that you have these tools that you use everything that you do is to help others. And this is again to be respected just like you are. So before you're cleansing your tools and getting things done, work on yourself too. Because you don't want to draw in something negative just by your energy alone. So take care of yourself, take care of your tools, and do the best you can with what you have doesn't take much, but helping others is a part of our path. And I think that's a strong path to be on because technically we are here for each other. We are here for the ability to help one another through all these different situations, whether they're traumatic or they're happy or even sad. We are here to help one another. And if anybody else is differently, then they need to rethink themselves and that's their, that's their issue and their problem and their path. But hopefully, things will work around for them too. But like I said, take care of your tools because they will help you in so many ways. And charging a tool is so easy because if you have a lot of positive energy, It'll just absorb the positive. If your home is a sanctuary for positive energies, great vibes, it'll filter through to your stones, to your tools. And it will charge them beautifully. 
I guarantee it. So stay positive, stay happy, and have a blessed week. Samoda P. Oh, one more thing I almost forgot. Please click like and subscribe. I have another video going up tomorrow and another one the next day. Hope you enjoy them. Bless me.